We've just walked through the Kibera slums. The Kibera slums have, has 13 villages. We've visited two homes, two families of the children that Mary Rice look after. Um, my experience, wow. Um, yeah, it's, when I'm looking in front of me, I see tin roof after tin roof after tin roof. I'm walking through this, the streets, um, it's, I've had to um, block my nose because it's so smelly. There's rubbish everywhere. Um, we're having to walk through, and over at times, sewages. They, they, they don't have sewages, they don't have piping like we do back at home and in the Western countries. Everything just flows through these streams of water. And in, in those streams, through the streets, you literally have to just jump over or your foot lands in it. Go. No, no, please go. It's okay. So you, you, you have to watch your step so you don't step into it. Um, and like, like I said, that there's just streams of dirty water, rubbish, sewage. It's just through street, through the streets. Um, again, as I'm, I'm talking to you and I'm looking out above the camera, it's all I can see is tin roof after tin roof after tin roof after tin roof. Um, there's no clean water coming through the houses. You, you have to go somewhere where there's a tap. If you want to use, there's no toilets in, the, in, in these tin homes. You have to pay, like there's, they call it a public toilet. So you have to pay to use these toilets. You have to bring your own toilet paper. Um, and you need to bring your buckets to be able to get clean water to then take back into your home. Um, the homes don't have bathrooms, they don't have kitchens. It's, it's, a, it's a small tin shed where six to ten people will have to live at times. It, it's incredibly overwhelming. Just incredibly overwhelming.